Green Jacket at the Masters. I'm here for you. What are you learning from girls on the run? Never give up. Beyond this gate is actually the border with Ukraine. We've seen people not just opening their hearts to Ukrainian refugees, but their homes. Where will you go? I'm here for you. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News. Now on a special edition of CBS 2 News at 11, also streaming on CBS News Los Angeles, nearly 24 hours after a deadly mass shooting in Sacramento, no arrest tonight as police search for multiple gunmen. And good Sunday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Leslie Manning. Six people were killed and at least a dozen injured. Tonight, investigators continued their painstaking search through hundreds of pieces of evidence at that scene. Yeah, and as you can imagine, the city is mourning the victims. Dozens of community members gather this evening for a vigil at Cesar Chavez Park near the crime scene. They prayed, held hands, and called for action from their leaders to put an end to gun violence. A crowd fighting in downtown Sacramento early this morning when gunfire erupted. We know that a large fight took place just prior to the shootings, and we have confirmed that there are multiple shooters. The shooting left at least six people dead. Among those killed, Frank Turner's son, DeVazier. He walked out the club and he walked into some and got shot. The scale of violence that just happened in our city is unprecedented during my 27 years here at the Sacramento Police Department. Twelve others were hospitalized. Several of them are fighting for their lives as officials try to determine a motive for the mass shooting. We have located hundreds of pieces of evidence at the scene. This senseless epidemic of gun violence must be addressed. Across California, homicides are up about 30 percent from 2020. Nationwide, an average of 37 percent in the biggest cities. To do everything we can to minimize the chance that we will stand here like this on a Sunday afternoon, mourning the deaths of innocent people. As police investigate the deadly shooting, the city and victims' families grieve together. I'm heartbroken. When you include the dozen wounded, today's violence would be one of the worst mass shootings in Sacramento history. And Governor Gavin Newsom tweeted today saying, sadly, we once again mourn the lives lost and for those injured and in yet another horrendous act of gun violence, we must resolve to bring an end to this carnage. Another victim of the mass shooting in Sacramento is this man, a 38 year old Sergio Harris's mother and wife were devastated when police confirmed Sergio was among those killed. His best friend went to the scene and saw his friend's body on the ground. It just made me feel just my whole heart drop, you know, because it's, it's, it's like when somebody like close to you dies, you know, it make you feel like just can't explain it. Sergio was the father of three kids. Stay with CBS 2 News and CBS News Los Angeles for the very latest on the mass shooting in Sacramento. We want to get to breaking news in La Mirada. An investigation is underway after a deadly shooting near Valley View Avenue and Imperial Highway. L.A. County Sheriff's homicide investigators on the scene where a rollover crash happened. Deputies responded and found the body of a man in that vehicle, thinking it was just a deadly single vehicle crash. The coroner then found a gunshot wound on the man's body. Deputies are trying to figure out exactly what happened here. We're learning more tonight about the two innocent victims killed after a DUI suspect crashed into them during a police pursuit. This happened in Rialto yesterday. The chase ended when the suspect's car slammed into this home you see right here. This was on Cedar and Randall Avenues. But moments before, that same driver hit a car, killing a couple inside. As CBS 2's Lori Perez shows us, the victims were honored tonight at the site of this deadly crash. Gosh, you know, they... 